I'm Lenora's dad, and I'm proud to be here tonight. I thought it was dynamite. I thought it was terrific. I thought she had done quite some job of putting together an eclectic demonstration. Very unusual. She was talking before she was walking and hasn't shut up since. I don't know if Lenora told you, but I'm a urologist, a psychiatrist, and a sex therapist. So Lenora used to read Herpes the Love Bug when she was four and a half years old and knew more about STDs at five than most people knew at 25. And did you imagine when she was younger what her future would be like? What did you see her doing? I saw Lenora practicing medicine and being a psychiatrist with me because she's so good verbally and she feels the heart of people and she's able to get to the core, the center, the essence of what's going on. So how, how does this that she, that she does relate to, to that, that personality trait? I think she's taken all of that and put it together in a different format but a very entertaining format and educational. I think this is great. I really do. So when you came in and saw the setup, how did you feel as a dad? Very proud. Very, very proud of her. She never fails to surprise me, and she's a great daughter. Very loving. <laughs> We always have. As a matter of fact, her first word was Dada, and that was at five months old. And our relationship has just grown. There's nothing we can't tell each other. So what do you see her I see her growing in many different facets. I see her educating the public on different groups of people and different styles of people and not being judgmental, but looking at the person as a whole, eclectically. So I see her in a way as being an educator of people. She's always had that, and I'm just so proud of her. When, when she told you about the project, how did she explain it to you? She said, Dad, <laughs> I have something that's going to knock your socks off. And she told me about it. And you'll notice I'm not wearing socks, so I wasn't prepared to have them knocked off. So what, uh, going forward, what, what would you like to say to Lenora? What advice, what fatherly advice would you like to give her? To go with her heart, go with her feelings, and not to change because other people may not understand what she's trying to say because she has a point and that point is very high and people are going to have to climb to it to get what she's saying. I'm very proud of her and always have been. You're welcome. It's my wife.